there, folks, and welcome to another Workspace Wednesday right here on Lean Strategies International, LLC. Now remember, if you're not familiar with Google Workspace as a platform, there are many powerful productivity tools that you can use in it. And if you check the link in the description below, you'll be able to find some coupons and links to where you could even sign up for free if you want just to try it out. Or if you're already using Workspace, there's some coupons that you can use to upgrade your services and unlock more of the power of Google Workspace. Well, this week we have a great um, video for you where we had a question from a customer on how we could calculate or do ABC classification inside of Google Sheets. And so that's what we're going to do this week. You'll see right behind me we have some data here uh, laid out and this is oftentimes the most complicated part of ABC classification is collecting the appropriate data. So it really depends on what you're doing ABC classification for. Some companies will uh, classify their inventory items for number of defects. Some will classify it for shelf life. Uh, some will classify it for quality issues that they have, uh, maybe just unit price or even the number of items they sell, sell per year. So that's going to be something that's specific for you. We're going to use the most traditional method, and that is the total annual sales per year. And so that's what we got behind us. You'll see a few different categories here. We have our stock keeping unit. These are each of our inventory items. We have the average annual demand right here. And then we have the cost per item. So the first piece of data that we need to uh, calculate to do our ABC classification is our total annual sales. And we do that by using a function. We're going to use a product function for multiplication. And we're just going to hit our equal sign, type in product, our open bracket, and we're going to first select cell C4. Then we're going to put our comma and select cell D4. And then when you hit enter, that'll give us our total annual sales for product AB1, which in this case is 12,656. Now to get it for all of our items, we just need to grab this corner, drag it straight down, and that'll multiply all of them. And then we're going to go ahead and format this in currency because these are dollars and total annual sales. So now that we have our total annual sales, the next piece of data that we'll need is the sum of all of our total annual sales. And to do that, we're going to use another function, the sum function. And you'll see that Google Sheets is very intuitive. And so as soon as we type in our sum function, we see that it selects our uh, column with all of the data that we have in it. And you can even see your total right there. So we're going to go ahead and just hit enter to accept that. And we get our total annual sales of $3,410,836.61. Now we're ready to calculate our percent of the total. And we'll need this to classify each of our uh, SKUs into an A, B, or C classification. So to do that, we're going to use an if error formula. We're going to type in if error and then we're going to open our bracket. And the first uh, argument that we're going to put in is we're going to select our total annual sales here in E4 and we're going to divide that by our total or the sum of our totals um, for annual sales. Now we want to go ahead and absolute this or lock it so that we can use it on every cell after that. Now, after we get this, we're going to go ahead and put in our next uh, value or our next argument here. And this is the value if there's an error. So for us, we just want it to show up blank. We don't want to get a div error if uh, there's no data in there. So we're just going to put in our two quotes and close it out. And you'll see we get our percent there. Now we can drag this down. And this will give us our percent of the total for all of them. We're going to go ahead and format it as a percent. And you'll see that we have our percent of total for all of our total annual sales. 
Now the next thing we need to do is sort this in a descending manner. And so what we're going to do is select our data right here. And then we're going to go ahead. There's two ways you can do it. I like to just right click, but you can also come up here to data and then we can uh, sort the range that we've selected. And we're going to use our advanced string so we can see that our total annual sales is what we want to sort by. And that's in column E. So we're going to go ahead and select E and we're going to change it to descending or Z to A. And then we're going to select sort and you'll see that everything will stay in the right rows and columns and it sorts it now from highest down to lowest in both of these columns. Now we're ready to classify uh, each of our SKUs into an A, B, or C. So if we jump over to Lean Strategies International LLC under ABC classification, you can see that A-class items represent about 10 to 20 percent uh, by numbers of items and 50% to 70% of projected dollar volume. B class represent about 20% of items and about 20% of dollar volume. And C class contains 60% to 70% of the items and represents about 10 to 20 to 30% of the total dollar volume. Now this is kind of a arbitrary standard. It's really based on your organization and how you want to classify your items. But these give you kind of guidelines for what you need to do. So up here we're going to be looking for our A class items first. And I kind of like to go like this, which it sort of looks like there's a break right here, just a natural one. So I'm going to go ahead and sum these top three and we'll see if uh, my guessing is pretty accurate. And you see we've got 67.54%. So that's our 70% right there. We're going to go ahead and categorize these as A. And then we're going to see, uh, we'll go back to our categories here. And we see B class. These are our next ones. So our next 20. And it kind of looks like we've got oh, 7 and five, another four, uh, maybe down to here. Let's try it out. Let's see what we get. And that's about our 20% that we're looking for. We could even go one more, but that might um, change what's in our C class. So now we're gonna categorize these as B class items. And again, when you have an A class item, your controls on that inventory item are much tighter. Your B class are a little bit less. Uh, you don't, you, you maybe aren't looking at it daily, not counting it regularly, um, but your controls are a lot looser. And so that would naturally make the rest of these C. And let's just check that because that looks like quite a few C class items right there. So we're going to come down here and we'll just sum this again. And then looking at it, that's a little bit more. So if it was, if it was me, I would probably just adjust this one right here. And I'd go ahead and make this a B class item. We'll change that to B also, and then we will leave these as C class items right here. And again, it's there's there's no set ranges that you need. These are just guidelines on our um, lean glossary on our website, and you can see we've got uh, 10 to 30 percent right there. So. This is ABC classification. You can see we've got about 70% of our items. They're generating most of the revenue here. And we can apply stricter controls to it now. And then we've got about 22% of our items right here, which we may have a little bit looser controls. And that's it. That's ABC classification. 
So if you've got any questions, please feel free to put them down in the comments below. And again, remember that there are many different ways to classify your inventory. Uh, you could do it by total dollar volume. You can do it by uh, the percentage of usage. You could do it by number of sales per item. There's lots of different ways. So this is just an example to get you started on ABC classification. Hope it helps. Again, leave your questions down below if you have any. Please subscribe, like, and we'll see you back here on Lean Strategies International LLC for another video next time.